there's at least the last I heard, there wasn't really a timetable for uh, Mostert's mild MCL sprain. And Tubbin Coleman is, is out multiple weeks with a knee issue. Um, paving the way for Jarek McKinnon, the Jet, owned in just over 19% of leagues. And uh, do you think he becomes a three down back? Because personally, no, I think it's the Jeff Wilson show. I don't think I don't yep. think McKinnon's role changes. He, I think he gets a few more carries. Don't get me. I guess I think he gets a few more carries, but I don't think he's touching a three down back role. No, and I mean McKinnon had three carries for seventy seven yards, which I mean obviously helps as long as fifty five uh, boosting that. But even on his other two carries, average eleven yards. Um, Jeff Wilson Jr. comes in, two carries, three yards. So essentially the same amount of carries. I know production clearly wasn't there, but uh, they're trying, they got to keep McKinnon healthy and keeping McKinnon healthy is not by running him up the middle and having a bunch of 300 pound guys hit him. He's the, the jet sweep. He's the flare out. He's the dink and dunk guy. He's not the, yeah, yeah. He's not the run up the middle guy. So to your point, Jeff Wilson last year, um, when he went in, he was, or, you know, when uh, Mostert or Tevin Coleman wasn't playing, it was the Jeff Wilson show. And theoretically, if you. It would be hard to start (laughs) any 49ers running back with any confidence in the first week. And so you can pick them up you can pick them up. But it would be very, I wouldn't recommend starting any one of them. If I did, I would, it would be McKinnon. And I would just hope that he lucked into one of his outrageous long scores like he's had each of the first two weeks. Well, not the first week, it was more of a a swing pass at the goal line or inside the five. But I would be hoping for one of those and just hoping for like five to 10 points instead of counting on some 15, 20 carry madness. Um, I I would just stay away from all the 49ers running backs. But the hard thing is, is like you could pick up what amounts to like the, the guy, the Jeff Wilson that could get 15 carries in the next game. And then the game after that, most are it's healthy enough to come back. So then you blow all this fab getting this guy and then you can't use him. So, right. And it's right. So you have to be looking at from a, from a season long competitiveness standpoint and what, what is that fab going to get you? And if you, if the answer is, I don't know, then you probably shouldn't be spending it. Yeah. Uh, so just stay, uh, stay away. But if you get it right, then you're doing great. So maybe it's a small play on Wilson. Um, maybe it's a small play on McKinnon. I'd probably prefer McKinnon. But once Debo comes back and once Kittle comes back, I think McKinnon value yeah. evaporates. And so then you default back to Jeff Wilson and you don't know how long Mostert's going to be out. You don't know how long Tevin Coleman's going to be out. So good luck. 